Hey guys, well I'm out in the garage today and I pretty much where I left off in the last video getting ready to install the rails. You know, I'm pretty blessed and fortunate that through making these videos and posting them on YouTube I have developed a lot of friendships with a lot of different CNC enthusiasts. Some are hobbyists, some are full-fledged CNC machinists, and a lot of them have become good friends. They follow along my channel and they see what's going on and so they'll contact me if they have any good suggestions or if they see that something I am maybe the direction I'm going could be a little bit better uh, or different. Well that was the case with the last video. A buddy of mine Chris pointed out that mounting the rails directly on the dovetails without doing anything to them. It's not going to hurt the accuracy of the machine but it's also probably not going to improve the accuracy of the machine. And you don't really know that without being able to check the flatness of the ways. Now I did notice that on this base it is surfaced here and you can see that they machined all of this so most likely they machined the bottom and then they mounted it in some type of on some type of mill and came back and surfaced all the other areas at least that's the kind of consensus on that so if they're machining was good then I should be good however there's some things that you got to take into account whenever you machine a piece of stock you're going to get some kind of disruption in the material uh, it could twist it could bow unless you do some kind of stress relief which I'm not quite sure they did on these parts they probably just pumped them out as quick as they could then you're going to get some kind of deformation. So, as I said before, it's not going to be any worse than the dovetails, but it's not going to be any more accurate just by simply adding rails. Now, of course, adding rails, you're going to get, you won't have the stiction problem and the motion is going to be more fluid. So, it will improve the performance slightly. However, the accuracy, not so much. So, for the base, there's not really, really much we can do other than uh, just check it and see where we're at. Now, so for the base, if we've got a dip here, we could shim it in the middle. If it's lower at the front than the back, we can shim that and get this rail right. But this rail needs, the height of this rail needs to match the height of this rail otherwise you're going to just have a twist or a bow and that's not good uh, same thing for the column however when you start dealing with the table that presents a whole nother issue because well let me show you so on the table here we will also want to check to make sure there's no twist that the surface is flat and there's no bows. However, if the thickness of the table is accurate all the way down on both sides, that's great. And if there's no twist, perfect. However, if you have a deviation on any one of those, then shimming the rails it's just going to throw the top surface off and it's not going to be flat. In fact, it's going to just be worse than what it is now. Because I did measure this table. And the thickness is consistent all the way down. I've got 37.07 millimeters. So I've went and I've checked that all the way down on both sides and it's exactly the same well that's great however if they didn't properly stress relief this as they machined it 
once they took it out of the fixture it could have twisted or bowed now on a dovetail machine of course you know a few gaps here and there that just allows uh, oil to get in there and you know probably not such a big deal however with the mounting rails a bow is a big deal so before I take and mount these rails I want to make sure at least at the bare minimum I know exactly where I'm at once I figure out if there's a twist or a bow then I can determine a do I want to move forward and try to remove that or just go with it the way it is like I said if I mount the rails because this table is the same thickness if I just simply mount the rails as they are then the accuracy of the machine is not going to be any different than it was with the dovetails however the performance would be improved with the addition of the rails so that's good what I decided to do was try to pick up a surface plate well let me tell you surface plates the size I was looking at was 18 by 24 by 3 inches thick surface plates are about 150 pounds and it's about for me it was about hundred and twenty dollars hundred to hundred and twenty dollars to have a surface place shipped luckily for me there is a MSC about 25 minutes away from my house or where I work so I was able to pick one up for about hundred and thirty six dollars hundred with taxes about hundred and forty five dollars and I'm going to pick that up on Saturday it's something that I'm going to need in the future. Uh, surface plates are good to have for all kinds of uh, checks on parts, etc. So I decided to go ahead and pick one up. That way I can just lay my table on there and then I can get an indicator and check for bow, twist, straightness. All the things I was unable to check before I can check. Once I do that then I can decide if I mount the rails uh, maybe I can go ahead and have the top of the table surface as needed and then that way it'll be indexed off the rails then I'll know my table's nice and flat and that will dramatically improve the accuracy of the machine so I'll also check the base although not as important with the Y and the Z as it is with the table however uh, I'll check them all and see where I'm at so stay tuned guys uh, the next video hopefully I'll have a surface plate we'll talk about that for a minute and then we'll actually uh, check this and see if there's any twist warp and we'll know where to proceed there's no way for me to surface grind this table it's 27 and a half inches long uh, so I'll have to send that out and have it done but I'm sure that I can find somewhere locally that can surface grind this but we'll just see how uh, things pan out all right guys thanks for watching thumbs up if you like the video if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment I want to send a special thanks out to all my friends uh, who contributed information uh, for this video and many others uh, all my buddies on Skype Wyatt Chris Graham Ian, uh, Mike, Cliff, all you guys, I really appreciate, appreciate all the tips, the information you guys give, uh, really helps me out. It's nice to have somebody to kind of discuss things with, and then that way you can figure out what's the best route to go uh, moving forward. So I really appreciate that, guys. Thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. Thanks for watching. And most importantly, be safe.